This is an excerpt from R.V. Rick, the true story of how our tragedy became a triumph, a book by Melissa Jean. We'd been driving just about all day on our way home to Ohio to visit family. We were making great time and the kids were all content to watch movies in the car. The sun shone through cloudy skies, the temperature on the warmer side. My husband and I were taking turns driving, towing our trailer, our full-time home behind us. I'd been driving for some time and was feeling pretty confident. I was staying in the far right lane of the four-lane highway going about 60 miles per hour. We were just south of Louisville when it happened. Out of nowhere, a semi came up from behind me and flew past me. I was caught by surprise as the driver didn't even get all the way out of my lane, gone just as quickly as he'd come. The tailwinds from the semi caused the trailer to pull to the right. I tried to move the wheel to keep up with it and regain control. Instead of regaining any control, the trailer pulled to the left, then faster to the right again. Time seemed to stand still. Suddenly, we were swerving all over the freeway. I had no control as the heavy trailer yanked us back and forth. Terror, uncertainty, and a dull hope were the only emotions I could feel. It was a situation I'd certainly never been in before. We'd only gotten our trailer a few months before, and I'd only pulled it a handful of times. I'll admit, in the intensity of the moment, I couldn't think of what to do. I kept trying to turn into the swerves, getting the van under control again. I remember yelling for my husband, Ed, as we were being pulled across the freeway. He yelled back for me, desperate in the moment, panicked. Our lives, our children, the family we've created and all of our dreams were facing the reality of mortality and uncertain future. Ed wanted to help, but his seatbelt locked, keeping him from moving forwards. He couldn't seem to spit out the words he wanted to say. We were helpless as we felt ourselves being thrown across the road, increasingly faster and more violent. Finally, all of a sudden, we stopped. Ed and I looked at each other, eyes wide and mouth gaping. Slowly, we looked around, taking it all in. None of the kids were making a sound. The only noise in the car was the children's movie playing softly in the background. We looked down at the traffic stopped in front of us. We were facing the wrong direction in the four-lane highway. I took a deep breath. I was numb and in shock as to what just happened. I looked out at the lines of cars, all stopped and facing us. Missy, the trailer, Ed said, looking around behind us. What? I asked. I was numb, trying to wrap my head around what had happened. The trailer, he said again, his voice shallow. I turned and looked behind us to see what he was talking about. Our trailer, our only home, was stretched across the entirety of the four-lane highway, lying on its side. For more information about this exciting new book, click this box.